Hey guys, welcome back to this Flutter app development series where we are creating that wallpaper app which no one wants. So in the last video we did some refactoring by creating the model class. And now we can easily add new data in wallpaper documents of Firebase and read it in our app without having to make much changes. For this video, my original plan was to work on the UI part of category wallpaper class. But then last week I got a comment asking to show how to download images in this app. And I said sure, why not. So in this video, I'll be implementing a way for users to download images to their devices. And my plan is to add that option in wallpaper gallery widget, right next to this apply wallpaper button. So let's get started. For this, we will need two packages. First one is image downloader. This package will help in actually downloading the images and storing them in a specific location. Let's add this package in dependencies of our pub spec. Then next, we will need permissions handler package. This will help us to check if our app has permissions to write data to storage. I'll copy this dependency to pub spec as well and then I'll save these changes. This will start the pub get. And while that is running, let's see what additional changes we need to make for these packages to work. So let's see readme tab of image downloader first. Since I am on android, I'll follow the steps specific to android. So this says that we need to add this permission in our android manifest.xml. I'll copy this and then I'll navigate to android manifest. This file is located under android slash app slash src slash main. So let's paste that line below this application tag. This must change is okay if you just want to download the image. But this package also allows you to display the downloaded image. And for that we'll have to make some more changes. You can find this in the preview section of this readme. Basically we will have to add this provider tag under application tag of android manifest. So I'll copy this and go to the manifest file again. And here I'll paste the copied line inside the application tag. Then next, this readme says that we have to create provider underscore paths dot xml in resources slash xml folder and add the following lines in that xml. So let's create this xml. First, I'll create a new folder called xml under res and name this as provider underscore paths dot xml. Now let's copy and paste those lines here. And that's it, we have completed the steps for image downloader. Now let's move to permissions handler. For permissions handler, we just have to check these two things. First, we have to make sure that in gradle.properties, user android x and enable jetifier both are set to true. And second, we have to make sure that compiler sdk version is set to 28 or above in app level gradle file. Most probably both these things will already be there in your app. But just check once and make any necessary changes. Now we can start writing the actual code for this. So first, I'll stop the debugger and relaunch the app because we have added two new packages. Okay, and now the app is up again. So first, I'll open up the wallpaper gallery.dart file. Here we have this code which adds an icon button on top of photo gallery view. To add one more button next to this, I'll wrap the icon button in a row widget. And now we can add one more icon button. I'll add it first so that it appears to the left. Icon for this will be file download icon. And let's keep the on pressed empty for now. If I save this, you can see that we get this new button in the app. So next thing is to download the wallpaper once this button is pressed. So I'll write image downloader dot download image. This comes from the image downloader package and it needs the URL to an image. We already have written the code to get the URL of current wallpaper using page controller. So I'll copy that same line and paste here. If you check the documentation of download image, you'll see that it returns a future of string. And this string is just an unique identifier which we can use to get some more information of the downloaded image. So I'll store this ID in a variable called image ID. Let's also add the await keyword so that we wait till the download completes. And for await, this onpressed will have to be marked as async. So now if I save this code and click on this download button, you can see that it first asks for permission to local storage. I'll allow this. And now if everything works as expected, we should see the wallpaper downloaded in the downloads folder. And yes, as you can see, we have that image in downloads folder. 
but having these wallpapers in downloads folder feels a little odd. So let's delete these files for now and let's see how we can change the download location. So this download image method has a property called destination and you can specify some of the standard locations using the android destination type class. This is provided by image downloader package. I'll set this to directory pictures and save this code. So now if I press this download button again and go to the file explorer you can see that now that image is not in downloads folder and if I navigate to pictures folder located under images you can see that we have that image here. I'll delete all these files from this folder for now. Since this call to download image works with local storage, the chances of it failing for some or the other reason are little high. So to save ourselves from failures, I'll put this call in a try block. The documentation on image downloader package says that on failure, this package throws platform exception. So I'll write on platform exception catch error. And here I'll simply print the error message. Now let's add some code to let the users know that download completed successfully. And for this, I'll show a snack bar. I've already covered snack bar in one of my Flutter basics video. If you haven't watched that, do check that out. Link will be in the description. So here, I'll write scaffold .off context .show snack bar. And inside this, I'll create a new snack bar widget. Content property of this snack bar will be a text widget, which will display download completed. I'll also add the action property to this snack bar because I want to show an option to open the downloaded image from the snack bar itself. This action widget will be a snack bar action with its label property as a string saying open and the on pressed will be an empty function for now. Before we write code inside this on pressed, I would like to show you an issue that is pretty common when using snack bars. I'll save this code and then I'll click on the download button for one of the wallpaper. And as you can see, we get this exception saying that it didn't find any scaffold for the given context. And you can read all of this if you want, but to explain in short, all this is saying is calling scaffold.off on a context which is still building its scaffold is not a good idea. And to get around this issue, Flutter team suggests to create a new context in between. And this can be done easily by using a builder widget. So I'll wrap this whole stack widget inside a builder and instead of child, builder widget needs a builder function. This function takes a context and returns a widget. So I'll remove this child and then I'll move this whole stack widget inside the builder function. And that is it. This should fix the issue with scaffold. If I save this code and click on the download button again, you can see that after a few seconds, we get this snack bar saying download completed. And we also get this open button on the right. So let's write the code to open that image. So in this on pressed, I'll call find path from image downloader. This method takes an image ID as input and returns the path to that image. We already have the image ID from last call to download image. I'll use that. I'll store this path in a path variable. Let's also add the await keyword here and mark the on pressed as async. So now I can call open from image downloader and I'll pass the path to downloaded image. This will also have to be marked as await. And now if I save this code, we should be able to open the downloaded image directly from our app by clicking on open on the snack bar. And this seems to be working perfectly. You can see that this is not part of our app and it also has options to share this image. If I press back, it will again take us back to our app. Now all this is good, but we will have to handle the case when users do not give our app the required storage access. In such case, calling download image will throw an exception, but we can easily avoid that by checking the storage permissions. For that, I'll use permission.storage.request. This comes from the permission handler package. I store the status of this request in a variable called status. This will also be marked as await because we do not want to proceed without getting the status. Next, I'll check if the status of this request is granted using an if check. So if permission to storage is granted, then we can proceed with image downloader. So all this code will go inside the if block. And now in the else block, I'll write some code to tell users that we need access to storage for downloading wallpapers. For this, I'll be using an alert dialog. I've made a separate video on alert dialog too and link is in the description. 
So to show an alert dialog, I'll use the show dialog method. This method needs a context and a child. For the child, I'll create a new alert dialog widget. Title property of this widget will be a text widget saying need access to storage. And then I'll use the actions property to display two flat buttons. The first one will be a text which will display open settings. And the second one will display cancel. On pressing the second button, I'll simply call navigate.pop so that alert dialog just goes away. And inside the on pressed of first button, I'll call open app settings. This function comes from permission handler package and it opens the app settings for current app. This will allow users to manually change the permissions if they have permanently denied them. So to see how this works, I'll first stop the debugger and then I'll uninstall this app. Once that is done, I'll relaunch the debugger. This will install the app again in its default state. And now if I go to wallpaper gallery and click on download button, you will again get this pop-up asking for storage permissions. But if I deny this, we'll get our alert dialog with the two buttons. If I click on cancel, the alert dialog will go away and nothing will happen. I'll do this one more time. And now when I try to download wallpaper for the third time, it will not show the allow and deny dialog because now the permission has been permanently denied. But since we have written code to handle such cases, our app will still show users this alert. And now if I click on open settings, we'll be taken to the settings page of our app. And here we can click on the denied files and media permissions and change it to allow. Now if I try to download this wallpaper again, it will work and we will get the download completed snack bar. So that was all for this video. I hope that now you understand how to implement image downloading functionality in your app. I'll quickly extract out all this code into logical methods called show open settings alert and download wallpaper. This will make it easier for us to understand this code in future. If you want to see the final code, it is available for free on my GitHub. Link will be in the description. For doubts, questions and feature requests, you can use comment section below or you can join my telegram channel linked in the description. Anyways, if you like this video, hit that like button and maybe also consider subscribing for more such content. I'll hope to see you in the next one.